Good morning guys! Today's adventure is a two day adventure. I'm currently waiting in Go Outdoors car park, I think in Chester somewhere, waiting for Hayley. She should be here by now. Oh there she is! You heard me! So what we are doing today slash tomorrow because we are actually hiking Cribgoch Crib 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 yes um and we are camping at the top yeah <laughs> I feel like this is going to be a bit disjointed because I got distracted. Um, but we just walked in to go outdoors. <laughs> Hayley's phone just started playing some meatloaf. Playing meatloaf. I think to be fair, I was listening to meatloaf because obviously sadly he passed away yesterday. So you were listening to it. But well, I only bat out of hell. That wasn't bat out of hell. Oh, right. What right. do we need? Um, I need a, a much smaller, warmer sleeping bag. Yeah, we've just gone past the sleeping bag. That's bags. what I need. <laughs> That's my oh, a luxury bag. pillow. That bangay one. Much smaller than what mine does, but then that's probably going to mean that it's <laughs> not as warm. No, it will be. So we've actually been driving around for like two hours or something now. We just got our coffee. Um, I'm actually going to head to to the mountains. Hayley's working. Always working. It is really cloudy as expected. I think for the majority of this hike, scramble, we are gonna be in the clouds. So yeah, all coffeeed up, all ready. So I got from Go Outdoors, because I thought, you know, I have got like a mat, a blow up mat, but then, excuse me, need some insulation as well. So just got this roll mat to go on top of my pack. It's really light, so I was a bit stressed about that. So I'm glad I found it. But yeah, on we go. So we just managed to park up near Finogwen, almost as busy as it would be in summer. It's absolutely mental. Hayley's just managed to get her her space over there, but I'm parked on the other side of the road, but luckily I'm not staying here. Um, I'm going to drive us up to Snowdon, but this makes me really worried that there's not going to be a space by Snowdon. We're not parking in the car park because it costs like 40 quid for 24 hours, which is, I'm sorry, it's a joke. Um, so yeah, we're going to try and park further down the road. I'll drop Hayley off with all the stuff um, in the Snowdon car park and then yeah i'll drive down the road and then walk up to meet her with nothing to carry so yeah i'm just gonna sort all the stuff out now and it's just starting to rain yay i had to come in my car because i was like i had that door open to try and sort all my stuff out but i then um, i lent it against the not barbed wire but you know like the wire sort of fences um and yeah scrape the paint off my car but i was trying to roll this up to go on the outside of my pack Hayley's going to be ready and I'm just like not even in the slightest bit ready, which is great. Um, I need a van because this is a joke. This space is so tiny. If anyone wants to uh, give me a van, I'd be much appreciated. It's so busy on this road as well. Everyone's going to be driving past me like, what's she doing? I don't know what I'm doing on a daily basis. I do not know what I'm doing. Okay, that is not tight at all. How does one do this in the back of a car? Oh, paper. Okay, they haven't stopped me, that's good. I'm not on a white line. I'm just generally in the way anyway. You got your pack there? Yeah. Do you want to come out the road? <laughs> I mean, it is balanced when I am actually. <laughs> what am I thinking? Put it for now, I need to change my shoe. Right. <laughs> Guys, so I've just dropped Haley off at the, I think it's the 
I actually don't know which what the name of the car park is, but the one at the bottom of Snowden. So I've dropped her off there with both the bags. So she's just chilling, eating a sausage roll. Um, and I've come and parked down like the really long main road. But yeah, there are no spaces anywhere. And I've just found this like really like slight space in between, like there's a little red car and a van in front of me. And I just parallel parked like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> but. I'm in. So now I've got to walk all the way up that road for probably like half an hour now and go and find Hayley again. <laughs> How's it going? I'm okay now, I think. Yeah? Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Don't overbalance now on the black ground. We can do this. We good. We good. everywhere so from now on no views oh there's like a spot of sunlight actually ah. so there's someone walking towards us on the path with like carrying a massive box on his back very intrigued. I'm gonna try and get it as he's walking off in the background. But yeah, just saying to Haley, the stuff that I see on this path no. could be anything. I'm praying it's like the goo desserts. Legit, not like the goo desserts. <laughs> Mate, it's this one. Oh, I see. Yeah. Um, so I'm hoping this is nice. If it's not, I'm going to be very upset. Um, we did fuck up. I'm not gonna like film these vlogs and tell you that I did it perfectly because I guarantee no one will <laughs> unless you've done this before. Um, and we've done the hike before, but not in these conditions. But we are challenging ourselves, so we won't have done it before. You got to start somewhere. Um, but yeah, we evaluated the situation slowly, went back down, changed our course, came back up, and yeah, we're just there for each other. Yeah, taking it slowly. Yeah. 
Or a little bit of Instagram. Yeah. Just a little. Just okay. a little. We're good. Okay. <laughs> made it to the Crib Gox Summit. The ridge is now here. Nice and misty. Um, we've accepted the fact now that we are not going to beat sunset. So now we're just going to take it incredibly slow, stick to the left, lean into the rocks, all of that. Have torches on when we need it. And yeah, worst comes to worst, we just complete the hike and go home. Or we complete the hike and we go and camp by a lake or something. Now we're not against the clock. Yeah, doesn't mean we're not nervous. I will say, this is extreme. More extreme than I thought it would be, but we're capable of it and we've got everything we need, so. quite well as you can see we've got some amazing views you can hear the waterfall it's between like well the stream river between the honestly don't know the names of these lakes actually so which makes me think we're like coming well we are but if you can see Go this is like way. what is it so we've got Lynn Liddell and then we've got Pastor. Pastor? I don't know um I'm usually quite good with you guys with, with uh, naming lakes and stuff but I've never learned those ones actually but yeah, you can kind of see. Oh, that's actually a good picture. Maybe I'll make this my thumbnail. <laughs> you can see the, the second ridge there. Yeah. Um, we're doing quite well, but it is definitely going to go dark. Yeah. Um, there's like a plateau between these two, and we were thinking potentially we could camp there. But I can't remember how wide it is. I actually don't think it is that wide, so I have to just keep going. But yeah, doing, doing good. Feeling good. You feeling good? Yeah, feeling good. Yeah? Feeling really good. You're good. You're good. <laughs> reached the plateau um, it's getting quite dark um, so the next thing would be like the second ridge and the fact that we found this nice little flat bit we're just gonna take it and then finish the hike in the morning because why not why risk it when there's no reason to um, and yeah we are pretty much in the middle of the path <laughs> so if you see us we're sorry <laughs> It got dark, okay. Um, but yeah, temperature-wise, it's supposed to be minus two. Um, and it's supposed to feel like minus seven. It currently feels so mild. I'd say like five, six degrees. Five, six degrees, something like that. But Hayley did have, I had frost on my gloves. Hayley had frost mm. on her jacket. So in parts, it is definitely cold. Um, but right here... You know, the weather report was pretty accurate, I think, that I read and kept an eye on. It said, well, apart from the temperature, actually, but I mean, in parts, it probably is. Um, up at Snowden, it's definitely icy, but it's not here. <laughs> yeah, we're going to get the tent set up now. I will try and video us doing it, actually. I'll pop you over here. 
um but yeah we've actually split the tent between us so i've got the ground sheet and the poles and the pegs hayley's got the um the outer shell so yeah we're gonna get on that now we need to be more this way don't we like it's going yeah. so we're gonna face it out towards that way because the ground's sloping that way a bit so our feet need to be towards the slopey bit and then we can open it we can morning, open it in the morning to spew of snow then <laughs> <Hopefully>. that's, <laughs> that's the goal <laughs> it's not looking like this cloud's gonna shift but we can but hope we can but hope yes to put in the ground sheet but what we've done because obviously we're on a ridge so we can't really get the pegs in so we've put the rocks on top of the pegs oh my god what was that oh it's you <laughs> Now we're all set up. Oh, these are getting warmer. I've got little hand warmers in my sock. Um, so yeah, like I just showed you in the last clip, um, obviously we're on a ridge, so there's not much soil and that and whatnot. Um, so we've put the pegs like half in to keep it in position. Can you hear voices? This is half the problem. It's literally imagination. Um, but yeah, so what was I saying? That was me. That was my stomach. Oh, I'm close to everyone. Good, look, no. Surely not. Anyway, so Hayley's just putting a heat gloves on. I look like a transformer. <laughs> But yeah, so we put the pegs like half. Oh my god, that's so cool. I love that move. That's so cool. These are these are definitely getting warmer. So yeah, um, I'm just gonna put my feet up this much. It's not getting cold. Um, so yeah, the um the tent is held down currently. We've got in the corner at the back of each corner, we've got rocks inside the tent as well, um, because we couldn't use the pegs. Um, but then on each like guide rope, we've got rocks um and on a few of the outer sheets as well. So yeah, we're all settled in. We do get occasional gusts of 20 miles per hour, which is what was predicted. So I'm happy with that. Um, but yeah, so just wanna address a little something. So on the way up, we had quite a lot of people obviously like looking at us walking up, but I think they were kind of looking at um, two girls just hiking up Snowdon. And there was a lot of judgment and like we had, all our packs on and everything so they were just like oh are you camping are you going up there you're crazy you're mental blah blah, blah. and i just want to say like appreciate the concern yeah. um and all of that but i do think there's like a certain thing that you gotta look out for like if you want to say something to somebody it has to be at the point where you're genuinely like they don't look prepared we we're obviously doing this challenge and if you keep saying stuff like that to us it's going to knock our confidence and i think doubt it ourselves. did i think it actually did like mm. they got to a point where part of like crib where mm. we were like going around that that edge yeah and i was like oh my god like i don't think i can do this yeah. and like maybe they were right yeah I was like, hang on a minute i've done this before yeah 
I'm absolutely fine. Mm -hmm. When I start thinking that I can't do it, that's when I am we more wouldn't have to... planned to do something we don't think we're capable of doing, and no. we don't have the and like even now, for. we're like, yeah, we'll get right across the ridge, and we'll come. Well, we've literally just thought, you know what? It's dark. We're yeah. not going to do that ridge. We're going to camp here. This exactly. is perfect. Yeah. So it's just adapting to it, isn't it? But I, yeah. I do think, I do think it's more of like a without sounding we have to be careful what we say because obviously we don't want to offend this anybody isn't, and, and it's only the it's like just, minority, just minority. Well, actually no it wasn't going up it was literally, oh, no, everyone. literally everybody but it was out of concern i do appreciate yeah. it and we were doing it in the afternoon so obviously it was going to get dark and yeah. especially at the moment because so many people have got into hiking and stuff and you yeah. see all these stories about like people are unprepared and you know blah blah, blah. we we have got everything we need and if yeah. it did get like really bad or if we couldn't go on we find a spot where we could yeah it's the thing like it's all down to as well like different people have completely different mindsets and me and Haley are this whole hike we're just talking about how our mindsets are just we just get on with it and like this is the, the sort of environment that we thrive off and like we thrive in and problem solving to feel almost dead to feel alive literally <laughs> <laughs> yeah and i need that rest yeah we're not just to. two girls that started hiking like literally like a year ago or something this mm -hmm. is our lives it's who we are we as people 10 years before didn't ten we 10 years yeah but it's just not been documented for that long because well no. one i didn't have a camera too we didn't really yeah and now we just decided to put it out there and and i don't think i felt con like I, th I think there was a point where there wasn't a community for it no. whereas like we've obviously met each yeah <laughs> thank, <man. laughs> thank god thank god <laughs> but like it brings people like-minded people closer together yeah, which is definitely. amazing and like i would never have thought of that before no. you know i also wouldn't do this on my own so i am really you know glad yeah exactly i definitely think you need each other at points don't you yeah definitely you know it's not times. something to do on your own at all no you definitely. just need someone to even just like yeah just lift your hands slightly to the left and then you've got it and then yeah you <laughs> use your arms <laughs> yeah exactly exactly that yeah. so yeah i think if you're if you're looking at someone and you're, when you're climbing the mountains and stuff and you kind of want to say something to them think about like why you want to say that to them is it because like you think you won't be able to do it like if they look prepared or is it a stereotype like i genuinely think like it's a very male-led kind of mm, it is the outdoor world massively yeah so i think <clears throat> women are in, inferior to some extent because already they're they're yeah. at a disadvantage because so many more men are well they're not the they're scene. not inferior they just come across as inferior like yeah. they're looked at as inferior yeah it was definitely just, points where it was yeah. like oh here we go again like another person said this but yeah i think i just want to say like be careful what you say to people because even if you're doing something out of concern it can completely knock their confidence and make, put them at risk yeah wow what's going on stop wind gods no thank you <laughs> calm um yes yeah, so we're just gonna chill calm. it's dinner time You can't really see me. What? Just having a hot chocolate. <laughs> yeah. I just went outside for a wee. Um, and I was just saying to Hayley, if you've got a bit of an imagination, it's a bit scary. <laughs> a little bit, just a little bit. This is the 
best video I can do right now. <laughs> Literally just my face. Um, uh, as you can see, all tucked up in my sleeping bag. Got my hot water bottles um, and little heat packs in my socks as well. So yeah, time to um, time to go to sleep and then hopefully wake up to a better view. But I don't think we will. Hopeful, though. Positive thinking. Yeah, see you in the morning. That was Hayley saying goodnight, by the way. <laughs> that was so creepy. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It is half seven and just packing up, trying to pack up this sleeping bag, which is a bane of my existence. Um, and yeah, it was very windy about an hour ago. So I'm kind of hoping that we step out of the tent to no mist, mm. but we'll see. Um, we're going to try and get some pictures of the tent and stuff because photographers <laughs> um, and yeah, have some breakfast too. <laughs> Saying it wrong, it's crib, crib goch, crib goch, crib goch. Oh, there she is. <laughs> um, yeah, we're having some breakfast and some smarties. Well, they're like the weird new smarty button things. So Hayley's going to tell you all about the amazing dream that she had last night. Yeah, so it was like three in the morning and like I can't remember if this is the dream or real but I like woke up and Kate wasn't there. Well obviously it was the dream because you were here. <laughs> and, um, but like I woke up and you weren't there at all and I was like oh my god where's she gone? So I like messaged you and I was like um is everything okay? Like you're alright? Like yeah I had a party so I had to go so I've left you my bag out the front and I hope you don't mind taking everything down and I was like what? Just left them out uh, to go to a party. Yeah. And then I was like, what? How long does it take you to get down? And you're like, oh, only three minutes. You'll be fine. Three minutes. I was like, right, So not just like the best tent dream ever. So I was a bit angry with you when I woke up. Oh my gosh, she's laughing with everything. But uh, we're, we're good. <laughs> we're good now. <laughs> it wasn't my fault. <laughs> Fuming with me still a little bit. <laughs> Three minutes, it's alright. Yeah, you, you had no bags, Kate. <laughs> That's why it took you three minutes. You had no bags. I have everything to carry down. It wasn't <laughs> real. <laughs> oh, we're just putting the tent down now, and the temperature has really dropped. There's ice on the tent. I don't know if you can see. Oh, but yeah, there's quite a few people walking past now, so they're taking the mic out for us. We've been called crazy a few times, but it's all good. The views are insane. nothing behind take everything with you because we'll end up destroying what we come out here to actually enjoy <laughs> right off we go i can't tell you how much pain i'm in um i've bruised my hips and my shoulders from carrying this pack yesterday Luckily, there's a little bit less weight. We've, we've used all the water, which is good. But yeah, 
<laughs> not a good place now. <sighs> ourselves a little bit lost we're not lost we know where we are but we're basically between between the pig track and between the track that we oh my god we keep crying um between the path that we were trying to follow um but we did a bit of a scramble and went off it and now we are literally in between the two so we were trying to get back up to the other one and Haley really did just say i can't be arsed <laughs> so we're just we're just sliding the scree all the way down to the pig track. Do not recommend at all. Go back up and find the path. But we're literally just done. <laughs> huh? Pretty close. Yeah, but they're definitely further away than we think. We've made it to the pig track. I realised the rest of this vlog from like the point of last night is going to be so disjointed and all over the place. Um, but yeah, so we're just walking down the pitch right now back. Oh, it's the best feeling ever. It feels so good. But I just said to Hayley, I was like, do you feel like you've not done enough? Because I feel like I'm not, like, I'm proud, but I'm also like, oh, damn it. We definitely made the right decision. Like, I still stand by that, but also I'm like, we always think we can do better. Um, yeah, that's the feeling I've got right now. It's like, but I can also do with a camera in my yard. Honestly, also, could do with a cafe. <laughs> so, gonna go and find one. <laughs> oh. uh, to be honest, I probably will leave the vlog here. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching, as always. Hope you enjoyed, as always. Um, and, yeah, go and give Hey, oh my gosh. <laughs> Go and give Hayley a follow on Instagram as well. Um, and yeah, follow our adventures on there live and everything. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll see you on the next one, guys.